<laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. We're back. My name is Phil. I'm Erica. And we're going to watch another rom-com. Okay. Nice. Okay. Have you seen this? I've only seen clips. Okay. I've never seen this. Cheers. It's not McDonald's fries. It's not McDonald's fries. Hmm. <coughs> oh, well, my mother is. Sort of. I mean, not really. She lives within a mile of here. She's rich. Well, I guess a hit play will buy you a house in the Hamptons. I'd like to meet your mother. No, you wouldn't. I mean, she's great. She's totally brilliant, but she's not your type. You're overlooking one of the great <laughs> she's things rich. about me. I don't have a type. She's over 30. Oh, like you don't know you have a slight reputation for four, four never dating anyone over thirty. It just so happens like a Leo. Out here that women <laughs> of a certain age don't date me. Okay, the fabulous two-story living room, which I predict oh, will nice spend absolutely no time in breathless at Hampton's deck, complete with pool and ocean view. Her mom home? Your pants, please. I don't think so. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> they haven't really explained who he is, right? Like, no. what he does. No, when I first but they're always swimming. Hearing, told me, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, if what if it's an ex? Just picture the audience in their underwear. What is? Her mom. This gives bad health. Like, the, the mom's gonna uh -huh. be a bank. Mm -hmm. He's finally gonna fall for someone. His age? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, yikes. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh, we. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. Say where you are. Sir. We have a knife. Oh, yes. Yes, I have an intruder in my house. 29 Daniel Lane, bag of I'm dating your daughter, Marin. She invited mm -hmm. me here for the weekend. She's in her room right now changing. Oh! You're dating my daughter? Now, who would have thought that would be worse news? <laughs> <gasps> Billy and I will leave, and you and Harry and um Harry. really i'm sorry i apologize about the mirror arrest oh. i mean it's a different very impressive. culture I guess. <laughs> Strong, very, uh... wouldn't fly in an asian household i don't no. think no <laughs> i remember there was like this string of movies where every single movie i saw Diane keaton in she had a turtleneck like that's the only thing she wore hmm. i don't know maybe <laughs> speaking french here That would bother me so much. Yeah, even if it was like oh, someone the same age. She just sees PDA. Are you getting happy with it? Well, you know the thing about me. I'm 90 percent hard work. It's like not. So far. What I signed up for. Hasn't exactly <laughs> what? <laughs> like. Right. What's your play about? No, it's like formal about dinners. And <laughs> well, I'm not exactly sure, which is it's a bit of a problem, but uh, so. <laughs> Harry was once engaged <laughs> to Diane Sawyer. What? Diane Sawyer, I love her. I'm impressed. Yeah, women your age love that about me. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes, I do. Oh. Oh, yes. Is that your niece? <laughs> Would you stop that? <laughs> Why did I need to Stop it! Why was I here? <laughs> it's covering something. It's a, it's a different culture. It's a different culture. It's a different culture. Oh no. His heart. I don't know what happened. We were fooling around and then he just said he felt funny and then he just collapsed. Oh jeez. Oh fucking god. Yo. Yes, we need an ambulance right away, please. <laughs> <clears throat> what? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. <laughs> There's no way a doctor has time to do this. Oh, green tea. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Harry. <laughs> Contrast. Harry, over here. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Tell me. 
Tony Seltzer. We haven't actually had sex yet, have we? No. We <laughs> haven't? Or are you joking? No, we haven't. When they first got there, they were talking about how they were waiting. Oh. Oh, no. Harry, I'm sorry, but I can't let you travel quite yet. I ain't going back in there. Oh, no. That's her place? I guess so. <clears throat> he also owns 10 companies. Can't you just rent a house? I know. I love this song. But also, what a parking lot. What a driveway. I know. Just a home in general. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good night, Harry. Can I ask you one other thing? What's with the turtlenecks? It's the middle See? of summer. <laughs> no, seriously. Wait, this is the bedroom? Whoa. True. I want to close the blinds. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Okay! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry! What? Okay! What are you doing? I'm surprised for an older film. Yeah! Back here? I got confused. It was dark and uh, I didn't really see anything. Just, uh, just your tits and a, and a little. <laughs> That's funny. I really didn't see all that much. Yep, there you go. Okay, I won't mention it again, but I'm going to work, Harry. Hey, you saw my ass. You don't see me acting nuts and wearing glasses and hats and weird. <laughs> <laughs> After a heart attack, rule of thumb is if you can climb a flight of stairs, you can have sex. Really? Hmm. How big is the flight, though? <laughs> yeah, that might be too long. I feel like standard is 13 to 15. So. Hmm. <laughs> really? Now he cares. Everything about you now, not because of last night, but yeah, no, no. <laughs> Actually, I looked you. I noticed that you have bowls of those all over your house. Why do you only pick up the white ones? What do you mean? I don't pick up only the white ones. Oh, so you really are. What does that mean that I'm? Racers? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Like. I was going on Um. Big dinner date? Yeah, as a matter of fact, with your um, doctor. Oh, my doctor. Uh huh. Because she's not too no, young. No, no, no. Hypocrites. We're just having dinner. It is absolutely not a date. You look beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Not a date. <laughs> Oh, oh, just kidding. I, I thought he was. Oh, oh. Soap. <laughs> <laughs> You're incredibly sexy. I swear to God. <clears throat> I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bold and italic. <laughs> well, I was just about to ask you, what, what, what was your go to combo for fonts? And colors. Oh, pink century gothic. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No italics. How about you? Um, probably a nice Helvetica, Calibri, Sans Serif all the way. But like a maroon Sans color. Serif. Oh yeah, I've done maroon before. Or taupe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something dark. All those colors go well, Sans Serif. You know. This girl knows. Oh. What did he say? Meet you in the kitchen. <laughs> a lot of clothes for him. 
so interesting that this is what we do today. But it's Tex. <laughs> and this is same, instant messenger. Same house. It's, yeah. But here but it's even like, cute. like the flirting. It's like flirting through text. Yeah. So they wait they waited another five minutes after that message. <laughs> both in your PJs? I feel like I'm interrupting. Don't be silly. You know I never sleep. This one is asleep. You are interrupting. Oh, uh, I don't. She sees it. No. I don't. Hmm. No, because for two people who are convinced they've got life beat, there was something cooking in the kitchen last night other than pancakes. It's a weird way to talk. Your yeah. mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different culture. Different culture. Different culture. Different culture. <laughs> I guess, now, Erica, yeah. Look, try to think of this as the absolute smartest thing you've ever done for yourself. It's a different culture. <laughs> Imagine calling your parents by their first name. It's <laughs> so weird. To me, to me. I feel like I'd get in trouble. Like, <laughs> what did you call like, me? Excuse me? <laughs> oh. Wow. Only the black ones Picking now. Picking up colors <laughs> now, right? What's going on? Are you? Oh. Oh. Made his move. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, Did just break up? Earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Kiss me before you make it go away. <laughs> Wait, can you climb a flight of stairs? I know. Your, are you putting your life in danger? I know. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Did you fall down? <laughs> the turtle next. You did turtle Oh. What? Please. Just take off the sweater. I know, you don't need to... Is this like a... Damage it. Like a symbolic, cathartic thing? It's probably cashmere, man. <laughs> I mean, she is balling. She could probably just get another one. Is this supposed to like symbolize her being uptight and then yeah, cutting it? Yeah, I guess it? so. Like the music? <laughs> I know. <it's> <laughs> It's like I'm shopping for this House is, of the Sims. Yes, yeah, <laughs> like... <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I have to try sleeping with you. What? No, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put your arm under her head, bro. Yeah, that's the move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta regulate that temperature. Oh. Nice. Hey. Okay, buddy. Uh oh. Your looks real good. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, you think he's gonna break? And she's like my age. Do you know what that's like? That's like beyond creepy. And it's not like I think he's replaced me. Does she have a right to say something like that? I don't I don't think she's been like the most anyone. rational you character this whole time. All the say that the Let's let her figure some things out for herself. Oh, I'm not talking about that, Dave. After all, she did go to medical school. Hey, 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 not in front of the kids. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, snap. Well, she also what? knew. I know. But maybe she thought things changed. Slow down. You want to kill me? Because they said I love you. Yeah, maybe. Erica. Just from that moment. Oh yeah. She looks like a real buddy kind of girl. Come on. I really like you. I really like you. 
Yeah, but I love you like you. I do. Mm. I love you. I felt something with you that I never really knew existed. Do you know what that's like wow. after a 20-year marriage wow. to feel mm. something for another person that is so that Do you know that I've written this but I never really mm. got it. Our next place is going to be fire. Do you know what yeah. <laughs> Ball of Dell on it. <laughs> I just wish that it had lasted more than a week. Mm. Me too. Oh. oh my gosh. That is a terrible thing to say. This is home. Must be. We've lost it. It's very um. Oh, what's her name? Meryl Streep in um, Devil Wears Prada. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the tip of my tongue. Celine. No. That's very disappointing. You don't know <laughs> it. <laughs> what do you mean? But Celine is so odd. It's like a one name name that like they call her. <laughs> Miranda Priestley. It was a two name Mar name? Yes, it was. <laughs> Miranda Priest, Celine. <laughs> Celine. What phone is that? I haven't seen that one that's like. Yeah. Oh. It's gotta be an Okia, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Play Snake and Brick Breaker and all. She has a lot of white clothing. Oh, Where'd you go? Wow, this is very painful. Mm. Damn. Oh. Oh, use it. Use it. Where's the wind <laughs> coming from? <laughs> like, open the window. Do you think that's what the process is like for yeah, a lot of writers? Maybe. Like you can't, you like can't lose it. You yeah, know? you gotta just write, it, have it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never forgot fever, how to spell. <laughs> oh no! I didn't say. Did it used to say that they were typing? No. Not then, I guess. Just hold it. <laughs> Just hold it, man. <laughs> <laughs> You send that now? It's like, period? Period. No emojis? <laughs> yeah. I've never had the time of my life. What are you waiting for? You're right. I'm gonna call Harry right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I know we need some color. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, that's the thing. Just friends. It was a hip hop label, dude. Diane Keaton was getting it this movie. Oh, the Hamptons. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this, like, the story, like, what's gonna happen? They're gonna be going really well, and then he's yeah. gonna come back. He's only gonna be around for, like, five years, because of his heart. Bro. And that... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh! I mean, you could probably use that later. I know! <laughs> <laughs> She's really into these, like, symbolic gestures. She's creative. It's the best thing you've ever written. Oh, I gotta tell you, I'm totally excited about this audition. It's such a great part supporting, but she's a really, really funny character. And there's this totally hilarious scene where she's dating this like older, chauvinistic guy. And just as they're about to do it, he moans. And so she's just thinking that he's like really into her. Except he's having a heart attack. 
Oh no. You just keep talking. Shouldn't you get consent? One hundred percent. No, it's about me. Am I in it? Well, a guy like you's in it, but he's not you. Uh, they want you to take a look at the costumes for the dancing Henrys. Uh, are these gonna work for you? Oh. Uh... <laughs> oh no. Your diagnosis, although fascinating, was entirely incorrect. Possible. Do you realize that a severe anxiety attack in masquerade is a heart attack? You don't want to end up here every it's week. It's just anxiety. You do whatever it takes to do it. <laughs> it's just an anxiety attack. Just try something. It's not serious. Well, I guess it's not necessarily a disorder, yeah, but it's something else. Right, close your eyes. Anxiety is something. Yeah. I want I you to give yourself a visual. Close eyes. Especially a panic attack. Panic attack is serious. Give yourself a visual image. Panic attack is. Something that gives you a feeling. Oh. Well, it's a beard. Time has passed. <laughs> oh my day. Oh <laughs> my goodness. They wouldn't do that on Broadway. They would do the real thing. <laughs> she hiding or she trying to get her? <coughs> I thought she was hiding. Oh. I was just gonna give you a kiss, hello. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> It must be in the same hotel room, right? Finally found the right gift. In front of him? I know. That's how you want to propose? Happy birthday, baby. Do you think Keanu's character is putting this in his face? Mm -hmm. Because he kind of realized at that time that Jack Nicholson was mm. the Dan Keaton. I don't know. I think it, um, but it doesn't seem I'm like thinking, it's in his character to do that. Yeah, I'm thinking he's oblivious. So. Oh, you think he's oblivious? He was oblivious the whole time. Yeah. Make a wish. Would you just leave? The forces of destiny. <laughs> <laughs> forces of destiny. Beautiful. Wow, they really did go to Paris. It's just a back lot. Same. That's just a back lot. Clearly green screen. It's the B-roll. <laughs> Is this music just playing in Paris? Mm -hmm. like, when I go, I'm expecting this music everywhere. <laughs> My expectations have been set. Look who gets to be the girl. Well, that would not fly today. <laughs> I'm so feminine. <laughs> he knew that I was still in love with you. Good dude. What do you have to say about that? Harry. Okay, so, what do you think of that one? It's good, it was cute. I liked um, it. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, obviously there's a theme of, like, older... of an older person dating someone much younger. Yeah. What do you think of that? I guess it's two conversations, right? That's the male is older versus the woman is older. Because I feel like it's not the same conversation. <laughs> Like, in either case, like, I've never really been in that scenario, so mm -hmm. I don't really feel qualified to comment on whether I think it's 
good or bad, right or not. I don't think it's not right. I think, you know, people doesn't fall, have to be good or bad. fall in love with whoever they want to. And age but, is just a number. But I guess maybe the question is, why do you think it's such a big issue? Because it, undoubtedly, it is. Like, people feel strongly one way or the other. Oh, how, why other people feel strongly? Yeah. I guess because it's not um, as commonly seen. I think humans always feel kind of uncomfortable when they see something that they don't usually see. It just kind of disturbs you a little bit. Like, oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Therefore, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, it's not allowed because it's making me feel uncomfortable. It's a bit of a, a spectacle in some people's minds just because it's it's just so uncommon. Mm -hmm. Or at least... It's just different. Yeah. From what you're used to. But like different compared to what, right? It's just mm -hmm. depends on everyone's environment or how they grew up. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, like, yeah, like I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But like, I, I understand, I guess. Like, like the way that the daughter was when her dad mm -hmm. was started dating somebody that was like around her age. Like that would, that would make me feel a type of way. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know why, but it just, it just would, mm -hmm. right? It's different when I guess it's close to home. I mean, like in her scenario, I mean. Like, mm. obviously to her, it wasn't a big deal when she was dating yeah. someone much older. Yeah, yeah. But then when her dad was doing the same, it was like, oh, but that's my dad. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but like, wouldn't that feel weird for you? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, it's different when it's like that close to mm -hmm. home, maybe. Harry's aren't looking so good in... In rom com so far. I mean, oh they're, my gosh, they're Harry two for two for like wait, who, getting the Harold, girl. Harold and Maude. Oh my gosh, Harry. wait. What Harry are you talking about? I was talking about when Harry met Sally. Oh yeah. Harold, oh. Harry, and Harry. Wait. Oh, and then just forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, that's not Harry. Not <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I was speaking specifically of like when Harry met Sally, like just the type of guy that they're putting forward as the main. It's just so. Yeah, that's true. I, think they, I don't know, like, toxic, you mm. know? And it, it kind of molds. Like, these are really popular movies, right? And people watch rom-coms and it shapes a narrative in their mind of what the relationship looks like and what's mm -hmm. healthy and what's good and what you look for and what you hope for. Or what's praised or not praised mm -hmm. if you're the kind of person that cares a lot. Yeah. And even, like, something like this, it's just kind of, like, obviously a different time and, and all that kind of stuff, but, like... He was very, he, he was very chauvinistic and, you know, like, just like that kind of tomcat kind of player kind of guy. But then what's glorified is, yeah, but he can be so soft and he can be so, you know, full of wisdom in moments like this. And it's just kind of like, so what? <laughs> mm. Like, who cares? Well, I mean, not who cares, but it's like, that doesn't, that doesn't gloss over, you know, those other things that are more important, but... I guess it's a subjective thing. And also it's like mentalities have shifted. Hmm. Times have shifted. Yeah. I think there's always kind of like <clears throat> like when you see a character like Harry is in, in this film like at the beginning when you're <coughs> saying like very chauvinistic it's kind of like ugh like you're that guy and maybe deep down there's like a sense of like you wish that oh it's like it's too bad people who have this kind of perspective on women, it's too bad that, I don't know, you just kind of wish that they would were, change. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that they would change, that they would show a bit more respect, that mm -hmm. you would kind of see a bit more of a softer heart. So whenever you see a glimpse of it, it's like, oh, like, I don't know, it just kind of get. it's like, like the return of the prodigal son. Like, it's like, oh, like, you know what I mean? Like, But isn't that exactly what troubles so many relationships? Like, I can change him. Like, I can, yeah. like, and then you see that totally. little bit, and it's like, but he's a good guy. Yeah, like, totally. So that, that, that's what I mean, right? It's like, it's, totally. like, it's, and it's not even as dramatic as, like, this, like, like, it can be so much more dramatic in, like, the scenarios that I'm thinking of, like, in terms of really abusive people. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't portrayed like that, but I think there's seeds of it in mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. And it's like... Yeah. Well, he also went through his journey of healing and closure and... Which they, like, went like that. <laughs> yeah. It's always still, like that, yeah. isn't it? 
Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it was no, a long I, movie. I, they could have. Yeah, that's true. But I'm thinking about... Sorry, I just like thought about How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. And like... I mean, that was... How Barney was like so undone like that. I, How I Met Your Mother is a different conversation. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's... But... A, yeah. You know what I mean, though? <clears throat> yeah, I guess. <clears throat> but... Yeah, I don't know. I think... Well, one of the things I do like about rom-coms... And one of the reasons that they were actually, like, they played a big role in, in just kind of me growing up in the movies that I watched is because they did, without, whether it was, like, conscious or unconscious, like, it set an expectation of what, like, a relationship with someone was going to be like and things I was looking forward to and, um, yeah, like, these meet cutes and, like, like, I would actually think like that in terms of relationships and try to replicate those kinds of things, but it's... Like, I, I didn't realize how much of an influence it was playing in me in terms of, like, setting sometimes unrealistic expectations of what, mm. you know, what you can actually do in relationships, especially at the ages that we were at. So, yeah, like, it, it's funny because it's such a light movie, but it, it, it can be actually really impactful to a person who's, mm. you know, at a certain stage. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. I think that's why... Yeah, movies, shows, media in general, like, it really is a big influence on society. Mm -hmm. For sure. That's why we be careful, right, of, like, what our kids watch or like, why parents care about that. Or, mm -hmm. you know, so many other things. Okay, good movie. It's too long, I, th I thought. Yeah, it's like too long. That really dragged. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. Well, I mean, that was a really cool movie. I, I actually really liked it. So far, one of the top ones for me, I think, from really? this little... Hmm. I mean, we were just starting, but still, it's yeah. up there for me. So far, I think Harold and Maude is number one for me. It's set the and bar that pretty was high. Number, that was the first movie we watched. Set the bar pretty high. I know. <laughs> cool. I know. All right, well, uh, that wraps up for this one, and we'll see you for the next one. Bye. Peace.